shores doing some surf fishing and um, I'm just going to show you all a few things that we've picked up over the years. We don't live down there, we vacation down there, um, but this is just a few things that we've learned to help us catch fish while we're down there. Uh, a few of the setups that we use, the pompano rigs that we tie, I want to show you all how to tie those. Um, that can also help you with your cat fishing. Um, hey, let's get into it and let's show you how we do it. Alright guys, so here we go. We would like to start with a snap swivel. You can see this is going to be where your weight is. And we're going to start with a Palomar knot. And so, of course, we're going to go through and go back through. There's a lot of videos on how to tie a Palomar knot. So, if you don't know, just look those up. But it's so just a granny knot with a loop right here. And we're gonna pull that loop through. And we're gonna make sure all that is tight. It's gonna be a little bit crazy because I'm real tight to the camera, but y'all know how to tie a pile my knot. We'll just tie it, we'll just make sure all, everything is tight with the knot like it's supposed to be. If I can grab it. Hang on one second. Alright, so we'll make sure that's all tight and good. With the palm on not. And that's where your weight's going to go. It's going to hang off your snap. And we're going to go ahead and cut this tag in. Then we're going to go up, I like to go up about 8, 9, 10 inches, depending on how far at the bottom you want to be, but we're going to make a loop. Okay. So we got this loop. Alright. You all see it? We're just going to go through here with our snap. We're going to go through there probably six times. One. Two. Three, four, five, and six. Okay, and we're left with this loop right here. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to move that off your weight about eight to ten inches. You're going to want to make this as big as you want it. Then you're going to go back and you're going to count over one, two, three, and you're going to get that in the middle. Pretty close to it. And you're going to put this loop right here. You're going to put that side of that loop back through that little hole that you pulled out. And you're going to pull that tight. Okay, this is kind of hard to do without using your teeth, but we'll try to make it work here so everybody sees what's going on. Hang on one second. So then you're left with this loop off of your line. Here's where your weight goes, and you're left with this loop. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put our float on this loop and our bead so that, let's get something that y'all can see maybe. So we're gonna put we're gonna put this float onto our line. Give me one second. Sometimes you gotta tighten this little knot down, this little loop, you gotta 
crank it down so that it'll work right. All right, we got that through. Now we want to put a bead on it because we want to protect our knot. Let's see if we can get this bead on here. I might have to go with something else. And this is 30 pound fluorocarbon line that we're working with. And so it is a little bit thick. So as you can see, I got it through the bead. So now we got our float and we got our bead there. Um, and I'm gonna use a little bit bigger hook so y'all can see this. Now, this can be a little bit challenging. I'm gonna crimp that down where it goes, but y'all see I got it through right there. Now there's two options, of course, you can, you can wrap this around the hook. So it'll, be, it'll look something like this. You'll wrap it around one time and then you'll put it through the loop. And that's a secure connection. Y'all see that? That is through the eye right there and it's wrapped around the hook. That ain't gonna come off. A lot of guys do that. That's a secure, uh, secure connection. But what I wanna do, since we already have the loop and since we're through the, through the hook, I'm gonna go ahead and tie another Palomar knot just because I have faith in that knot. And if it's a big red or something like that, uh, I know I have a Palomar knot there and I don't have to worry about my knot strength or just depend on uh, the line or whatever. I just know that that Palomar knot should hold up and we're gonna pull everything through like we would with a Palomar knot. Make sure it's over the eye of the hook. And we're just going to tighten down. If you got a loose end or something, just make sure that, that is tightened up. Okay. See how that's cinched down. And then we're going to push everything down. And there you go. And so now we got our weight end. We have our hook. It's going to be up off the bottom. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to come up a little bit and we're going to reattach to our main line. And how we're going to do that, we're going to cut that off of our rear of our roll, take a swivel, and then we're going to you guessed it, we're gonna tie another Palomar knot. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna go back through, and we're gonna tie that Palomar knot. Everybody have to Thank my wife for working the camera here while we're trying to show y'all how to tie these. Well, we're going to go ahead and tighten that Palomar knot down again, making sure everything's tight. And that way we have a secure connection there with a Palomar knot. That's back to your main line. And we're going to go down and off of our line, we have tie the knot that lets it come off the line. We have another Palomar knot to the hook. And then down below the hook, we have a Palomar knot that is gonna to go to our weight that'll be on bottom. And that is how we tie a Pompano rig or a drop rig. This is a single drop rig. And if y'all give me one second, I will show you a double drop rig, which is just two of those loops. Guys, and here's an example of the double. This is gonna be where your weight is. And you see we got one loop with a hook and two, lo two loops with a hook and our swivel. And uh, that's an example of a double and a single. Um, 
you're going to need both in different situations depending on how active the fish are you may not be able to fish a double but um both can come in handy um when you're out in the surf and you're just trying to see what's biting all right guys the other thing that you're going to see us throwing a lot is just this bubble with a fluorescent tube with a treble hook um we have uh, picked up on this as we've been down there uh, plenty of times fishing you can fill these up with water and you can really throw them a long way but when stuff is popping in the surf uh, this will catch a lot of ladyfish uh, Spanish mackerel um, bluefish uh, just a crazy amount of different fish you wouldn't think as much to it but it does catch a lot of fish the only thing I would say is this treble hook is pretty rough on the fish if you go down to a single hook that would probably be better um, just for the fish and just getting them off. It's a little treacherous trying to get a treble hook out, but um, man, it catches a lot of fish. You'll see us throwing some spoons and some uh, jerk baits and stuff like that, but honestly, we go back to this a lot because it, it just catches the fish in the surf for whatever reason, especially if we need bait, if we need to catch some little lady fish uh, so that we can use them for cut bait. Uh, this is a great rig to have down there. And like I said, we have all of our Pompano rigs. We've made up a bunch of them, as you guys can see, and we're ready to go. Each one of these can cost you seven or eight bucks. Uh, so you do the math on that, and it gets pretty expensive pretty quick. And uh, you know, you're able to tie this stuff yourself, and you're able to do it really quick if you got the right stuff. One of those little kits costs probably twelve, thirteen dollars off of Amazon, and you can get all this stuff and have it with you and be able to make up what you want and uh it just makes for a better experience out in the surf uh you guys try it go out there and fish you know if you're on vacation um you know you're able to go in the surf and just fish and have a good time and enjoy yourself we'll see you at gulf shores next and we're going to be catching some new ones.